Welcome back. Over the past 10 videos, we have learned the linked list data structure and how to implement it in JavaScript. We had a look at insertion and deletion of nodes, finding a node by value, and reversing the linked list. If we focus on the insertion operations, we see that insertion at the beginning of the list has a constant time complexity, whereas insertion at the end has linear time complexity. This linear time complexity can be improved to a constant time complexity by keeping track of an additional pointer called tail, which always points at the last node in the list. In this video, I want to give you an overview of how the linked list data structure works with both a head and a tail pointer. In the next video, we will focus on the implementation of some of the operations. Let's head over to the slides to understand about linked list with a tail pointer. We've already seen how a linked list with a head pointer works, so I'm going to use that for comparison. When the list is empty, we have just the head pointer pointing at null. With a tail, both head and tail point at null. To insert the first node in the list, we create a node and point head at that node. With a tail, to insert the first node in the list, we create a node and point both head and tail at that node. When there is only one node, it is both the first node and the last node. To prepend a node, it is same in both the cases. Create a new node, point its next pointer at the head node and point head at the new node. However, appending is where there is a difference. With just the head node, to append a new node, we obtain a reference to the last node and point its next pointer at the new node. With a tail, however, we already have a reference to the last node. All we have to do is create a new node, point tail.next to the new node, and assign the newly created node as the tail node for the list. As you can see, Insertion at both ends is a constant time operation. Let's now talk about deletion. When there is only one node in the list, deleting that node involves making head point at null. With a tail, deleting that node involves making both head and tail point at null. If the list contains more than one element, Deleting a node from the start is the same in both the cases. Make head point to its next node. Deleting a node at the end also is mostly similar. The only difference is that we have to reposition the tail pointer. So to delete a node in both the cases, we obtain a reference to the node previous to the last node. We then point that previous node to null which effectively removes the last node from the list. With a tail pointer, we update the tail pointer to point to that previous node, which is the new last node in the list. So deleting from the start has a constant time complexity, whereas deleting from the end has a linear time complexity. Hopefully it is now clear how to insert and delete nodes from the start and the end with a linked list that contains both a head and a tail pointer. Now inserting and removing a node in between the first and last nodes, searching for a node in the list and reversing the list are the same in both the cases, which is why I will not be repeating how they work in this video. Do make sure to go back to the previous few videos to understand their implementation. Alright, with this overview of linked list with head and tail pointers in mind, let's head over to the next video where we will write the code for insertion and removal at the start as well as end of the list. I'll see you in the next one.